With Powermill 2014, uh, we've developed a variety of areas of the product uh, to make the processes faster and easier to use. Now, aside from Vortex and Machine DNA, uh, one of the areas that we've improved is raster machining. The option to optimize the raster toolpath has been completely rewritten to virtually eliminate fragmentation and certainly reduce air cutting and the net result should provide you a much better surface finish on the final part. There's a new plugin in Powermill 2014 which will analyze uh, each axis of your machine tool. So as well as the X, Y and Z axis, it will analyze the rotary axis which uh, are often the cause for concern. So with a rotary axis on a five axis machine tool, uh, we sometimes get undesired motion, such as high acceleration or deceleration, or what we call axis reversal, where the C-axis may move from positive to negative. Now, these areas of motion tend to cause marks on the part, which will require hand finishing. The new function will highlight these before you ever go near a machine tool, uh, so giving a graphical output showing you exactly where they are allowing you to smooth these areas prior to committing onto your machine tool. Hamel 2014 sees the introduction of two new tool types. Firstly, the barrel tool. Now this is a tool often used by the aerospace industry. It has a convex outer edge, and this tool is often used for cutting steep concave surfaces very efficiently because it allows us to use a large step down and therefore reduces the total cutting time. As well as that, we've introduced the dovetail tool. A dovetail tool allows us to cut undercuts on a part, as an example, an undercut chamfer. Also, it's often used by the gear cutting industry for cutting gear wheels. Powermill has been able to uh, modify the point distribution on a toolpath for many years but it was not able to change the point distribution on the lead in and lead out, which are critical areas. This is where the tool first engages the material and first touches the part. So we really require um, a smoother motion as possible in these particular areas. Powermill 2014 allows us to modify the point distribution just the same as we would on the toolpath, but now extending that capability into the leads and the links. Many of our customers machine duplicate parts. Perhaps they want to machine two, three, or four of the same part. Now to do this, uh, the easiest way is to apply a fixture offset, G54, G55, for example. So in the past, this was quite difficult to do, but Powermill 2014 really makes this uh, quite easy by allowing you to define whichever fixture offset you require directly into the NC program. Drilling has received a number of enhancements. Uh, firstly, um, some functionality which was intended for gun drilling, where we're using very long, small diameter drills. Uh, these drills could often uh, receive damage if they were to cut through fresh air, an example being through a hole which has been pre-cut in the opposite direction. So Powermill 2014 allows us to automatically identify any of these hole intersections and to reduce the feed rates prior to entering uh, the pre-drilled hole and therefore eliminating damage to the drill. Now as well as that, we've improved thread milling. Thread milling, we can now thread mill external threads as well as internal threads and we can also thread mill with a draft angle. So this allows us to cut threads on conical holes as well as cylindrical holes. So in addition to Vortex and Machine DNA, we really hope that this additional functionality really helps you to stay ahead of the game. Thank you very much.